Korea has apparently been spending way too much money to make up for the lack of economic part participation by women. A new report says government funds for working moms are being wasted and more needs to be done to get those women back to work after having kids. Shin Zemin has this report. Roughly 192 billion U.S. dollars. That's the social cost over the past 13 years due to the lagging economic participation rate of women in Korea, according to a new report by the Korean Women's Development Institute. It points out three main sources for the total. They include reduced salaries for women who re-enter the workplace, the expenses to retain these female employees once they return to the workforce, and an increase in government budget to support the economic participation of women. The $192 billion total suggests a number of things, one being that government efforts to address the gender gap in the Korean workplace have not been effective. Many Korean women leave their careers to raise children and have difficulties returning to the workforce later on. When they do, they're often forced to settle for lower-paying part-time jobs. Over $600 million in this year's national budget are allocated towards supporting the economic participation of women and helping them keep their jobs. But the report suggests that the money is not being used effectively and it calls for changes, pointing out that Korea's aging population and low birth rate are major obstacles for future growth and that getting women more actively engaged would help minimize the negative effects. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.